This is the Master Clip Pedigree Pro A5 Dog Clipper. This is a professional grade dog clipper. It's lightweight, easy to hold in the hand. It's an A5 dog clipper, which takes snap on, snap off blades, which are very simple to fit and remove. The blades themselves come pre-tensioned, so you don't need to undo the screws. There are also no tension adjustment screws or air filters on this handset that need adjustment. It's very simple to use. There is a handle to hook the clipper up if needed. It's dual speed, so it has a number one slower speed setting and a number two faster speed setting. Inside the case, you'll find your two year warranty certificate with the manufacturer's contact details and company address. Masterclip carry all spare parts for their clipper models at their headquarters in Leicestershire and also have an on-site workshop to send your clipper to for servicing and repair. Also the instruction booklet which gives you full operating details and recommendations for use, storage, clipping preparation and other tips. Always have a read through of this, especially before your first use. Also a small bottle of clipper oil. Clipper oil is essential for the smooth operation of the clipper blades and helps to keep your blades sharp. Put a few drops of oil along the teeth of the blade before clipping and also after clipping when the blade has been cleaned of the clipped hair. This keeps the blades well lubricated for the next use. During clipping run a couple of dots of oil along the blade every three to five minutes to ensure that they are well lubricated to reduce friction and the heat generation of the blades. This will stop your blades from getting too warm and uncomfortable for clipping your dog. Here is the cleaning brush to clip out the clipped hair from the clipper blade and between the teeth and also for removing clipped hair from inside the clipper head itself. Lastly, you have your mains plug to run the clippers. You'll notice on the end of the power cable, there are two little lugs on the end of the socket to allow the cable to be locked into the handset. Locate the notch inside the handset and align the lugs. Then give the cable a quarter of a turn twist anti-clockwise towards you. And this will ensure that the cable is locked into the handset and is not gonna come detached during clipping. To remove the cable again, just remember to turn clockwise, quarter of a turn, to disconnect the cable from the handset. This clipper has two settings, a slower speed and a faster speed. The slower speed might be best for trimming. The faster speed is great for getting the bulk of the hair off the body. This is the first speed. And the second. As mentioned before, these are snap-on, snap-off A5 blades. They are so easy to fit onto the clipper. They even come pre-tensioned, so there is no need to take a screwdriver to fit them on and off the clipper. They are perfectly set and ready to clip as they are. To remove the blade from the clipper, press the release button underneath the blade. Then. You can use a cloth to protect your fingers. You need to push on the teeth away from you and away from the head. This will make the blade stand up on the hinge and just slide off. To fit the blade back on, locate the gap on the blade, slide it over the hinge. On the back of the cutter of the blade, this black part, you'll see a little indentation where the little white motor arm fits into. The blade needs to slap back securely onto the clipper. If it doesn't, this blade may not be quite aligned properly. You can manually push this blade by just moving it with your fingers to make sure that it's aligned with the little white lever arm. When it is, push the blade firmly back Again, you can use a cloth to protect your fingers 
until you hear a good sharp snap. When you run the clipper, you'll know if the blade is on properly because it will have a nice smooth sound. A perhaps easier way to fit the blade onto the clipper is to run the clipper and snap it on. So make sure the clipper is switched off before you remove the blades. Again, pop an old cloth over the teeth, press the release button underneath and just push away from the handset. Sometimes the cutter might stop a bit further to the left or a bit further to the right of where the motor arm is in the center. If this is the case, pop the blade over the hinge, run the clipper, and then push the blade back until you hear the firm snap. And the little white lever arm will naturally find its own way into the hole on the back of the cutter. You do need to be quite firm to make sure the blade fits securely onto the handset. You'll know when it's on properly because the sound will be smooth when you switch the clippers on and there's no movement once the blade is fixed on properly. There's no wiggle room at all. There are many different A5 blades that you can use on the Masterclip Pedigree Pro Dog Clipper. These range from very close cutting surgical blades to longer body blades. Blades are numbered from number two to 50. The higher the number, the closer the cut. So the 50F blade is a super fine surgical cut at 0.2 millimeters for veterinary use, up to the longest cutting blade, the number two, which cuts to 16 millimeters. We have the full range on the Masterclip website, but also there is a handy list on the back of the blade box. For even longer clips, comb guards can be used on close cutting 10F or 30F blades to leave a clip length of up to 32 millimetres or one and a quarter inches. Wide blades for clipping large dogs and horses are also available to fit this clipper. Before you decide to clip your dog, always bath them first, ideally with a natural shampoo that won't leave a residue in the coat and make sure the coat is fully dry. Dirt, grease and conditioning residues from shampoos and conditioners will coat your blades and door them much faster. So always only clip a clean coat to achieve the best finish possible. The 10F is a general all round trimming blade for all breeds of dog for clipping around the face, feet, tummy area and sanitary clipping. This is also a great blade for matted dogs. It clips close to the skin, so allows the blade to get underneath the mat to clip it out of the coat. Mats need to be removed from the coat before using the body blades. It can also be used with the comb guides over the top to achieve different lengths of clip. Skip tooth blades have every other tooth on the comb of the blade missing or ground back and are great for rough cutting and leave a textured finish. They're great for dogs with coarse, long, curly or wool type coats such as poodles and poodle crossbreeds. They can be used on their own to achieve a natural looking clip or are ideal for clipping the bulk of the coat down to the required length before going over the clip with a finishing blade to give a neat sleek finish. They're also perfect for blending the shorter areas of the coat into longer areas such as the skirts and legs on breeds such as Spaniels. They're great blades for novices and the textured look is pretty forgiving. The F blades or finishing blades have a full row of even teeth and are great for a show-stopping sleek finish and give a sharp, super smart look to the clip. These blades are great to use after clipping your dog with the skip tooth blades and are suitable for all terriers and dogs with wiry or unruly coats. Another addition to your dog clipping set are comb guides or sometimes called comb guards. The master clip guides come in various sizes ranging from a three millimeter comb which is approximately one eighth of an inch and up to the longest length of 32 millimetres, which is approximately one and a quarter inches. These combs have metal teeth, which is much more robust than plastic and easily clip over the top of a close cutting 10F or 30F blade. These are the only blades that the combs will fit over. 
They have a spring inside and two little clips at the bottom. The clips fit under the bottom of the blade and you just need to push the teeth over to clip them over the top of the teeth. The combs are great for a variety of different breeds and the longer lengths are perfect for getting that plush teddy bear look. Other blades that can be useful are the toe blade which has a very narrow two and a half centimetre cutting edge to get easily between the toes and clipping the hair around the pads which easily becomes matted. Here I have just a little bit of fake fur just to test the blade on so you can see how the blades cut. When you're dog clipping you need to clip with the grain of the hair rather than against which you would usually do for horses. When you're clipping your dog make sure the blade is resting flat against the skin. Avoid angling the clipper so that the tip of the teeth of the blades don't dig into the skin. Also you won't need to push the clipper along to get through the hair let the clipper do the work for you and it will just glide through the coat. This fake fur isn't quite the same as the real thing, but as you can see, the blades are really sharp and they leave a nice, clean, even finish.